when you're talking about astrology and why astrology has a bad reputation because astrology teaches that the stars control who we are our identity and everything else and that is just not true that is god who gives us our destiny and has created us in his image um, so we shouldn't be controlled by the stars but that doesn't mean that we don't have a connection to them and that we have a role in their restoration and relationship so in terms of the planets definitely i've engaged all the planets looking to restore them to their correct position in relation to the earth and the union of planets um, i've been out into the constellations engaged some of the portals out there now the key is understanding it from a perspective of god's creation rather than what man has created in man's study of the stars uh, and looking to try and come up with a system that means the stars control us so i would say uh, when you're looking at these issues you know the magi whether they were or were not astrologers and um, the reality was they knew the signs in the stars when certain things changed and you know in the past stars have been used in that way now if you look at um genesis and it talks about the stars and sun moon you know they're symbols of authority and power even in in uh, joseph when the star sun and moon the bowed down you know that type of picture so there's always been symbolic significance but that doesn't necessarily mean it's totally um everything is controlling us now there's a good friend of mine chris carter who, who has written quite a few things about this he wrote a book about the uh, cosmic clock and various things about the ages and how the stars the Mazaroth, move through the ages and therefore their signs and seasons that god uses in relation to that but that's very different from being born under a star sign and that controlling your destiny so i would suggest you just seek god for uh, uh, an understanding of your connection to the stars or planets and how you may be used in the restoration of all things in that regards um, there is a good book a free book you can get online the witness of the stars by e w bullinger um, which talks about how the restoration story or the redemption story is seen in the stars between the 12 Mazaroth constellations um, which is an interesting read so I'd encourage you perhaps to have a look at that um, but don't be put off engaging the stars in the right way but don't be also don't think you're controlled by them in the wrong way if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help Thank you very much.